BookTube Nation. I'm Sam here again with A Bear and a Bee Books and today I wanted to talk about a really belated, I'm not even going to call it July, a Jane Austen July <laughs> wrap up. But in fairness to me, it was a crazy summer. Some of this was in June, some of this was in July, some of this was in August, um, but I love Jane Austen July. Um, so I just really wanted to talk about it today. Um, so thanks again to the hosts for hosting. I always look forward to it. Um, I have read a lot of Jane Austen now, though I do still have one unfinished full work of hers, which is Mansfield Park. I've started it previously, but I have not finished that one yet. Um, but I have read also um, one of her unfinished books. I've read Lady Susan, her novella, and I've also read some of her shorter juvenilia type things. So um, first, I just wanna mention, I've been missing for a while. Um, my family and I ended up um, getting ill and um, it wasn't with the big one that's going around but we did get very sick and um, it took a while to get over and by the time that all happened and then um, my daughter's not napping anymore so life is really crazy and she's very interested in me filming and always wants to be a part of it and i i don't like having to kind of like separate mommy time so um anyway it's just it's a little tougher for me to film now i'm going to try and still be present and active online especially because fall is coming and with fall comes victober which i also love um, and I'd like to talk about some more fairy tale things, which if you watch my channel, you know, I really truly love fairy tales and their retellings and adaptations. So, um, yeah, so today we're here to talk about Jane Austen. So let's get started. So for right now, I would say my favorite author, um, has changed over the years, but for my current reading tastes, I probably say it is Austen. There's something really special to me about Austen's books. Um, I don't always give all of them five stars, but they feel very easy. They feel very comforting and familiar to me. The writing style is also very familiar. It's just easy. It's very easy to put on. Um, I'm the type of person that likes to dress comfy all the time, and that's kind of how I feel about Jane Austen. And she's just a very comfy author to me. Um, it's like putting on one of my favorite um, sweaters or favorite blanket and um, it just always makes me feel better. So what else is in a favorite author? <laughs> but let's start with the movies because I started some of these movies in June. Um, like I said, we were ill and that's one of the only times I really have to watch adult movies is when I'm sick or late at night. I ended up watching both Northanger Abbey's, the 1987 and I think it's the 2007 version. I own and I appreciate the 2007 version. The 80s version, and I'm an 80s baby, so I sometimes love 80s stuff, but it's a little hard to get through. Um, however, I think especially the scene when they're in the baths, um, in bath, <laughs> the baths and baths, but anyway, they're in the baths. I think that is really well done in the 1980s movie. So if you've seen the 2007 one and you like it, I might just go back and like watch that scene. Um, I just, I really found it interesting. It really like for a modern person, it helped me to understand better, like going to the baths and like the whole experience. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really well done. Then I think I watched all of Lost in Austin. Um, that is probably my favorite modern adaptation about um, Jane Austen's novels. Uh, it's basically about a modern girl in England that ends up going to Pride and Prejudice. Like she walks through this door and she's in their world. And it's right at the beginning of Pride and Prejudice. And then um, Lizzie comes to modern times and they kind of do a swap. But um, I love that. It's so good. Um, it's harder to find, but um, it's a little cheesy, but I, I just, 
I love it. <laughs> okay, next, spoiler for the book I read, um, I watched the new Emma. I had been wanting to watch that since it came out, but I was like, no, I'm going to read Emma first because that was one of the Austins I hadn't completed yet. And so I did, and I watched the new one. I loved it so much. I watched it a second time. My husband watched it with me, and he actually really enjoyed it. Um, and he's not always into the Austin movies like I am. But yeah, I liked it. The only thing, like, there's a really, I don't want to give any spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the new adaptation, but it's a really weird scene at the very end of the movie that's not in the book. And I'm just like, if you've seen it and you know what I'm talking about, mark it down in the comments because I was just like why is this here exactly like I don't get it it doesn't it's not funny to me I mean maybe it's funny to some people but it wasn't funny to me and you know when I'm in that moment in my life where I'm getting like good information good news joyous moment like I don't really want this happening that wouldn't be fun so if you know what I'm talking about comment down below but anyway Overall, I really loved it and I can't wait to watch it again. I also watched the 2005 Pride and Prejudice and I like that one. Um, it's not my favorite, but I find it really beautiful and very relaxing to watch that movie. Um, the cinematography is just really, really gorgeous in that film and it just always makes me feel good. So yeah, I also enjoyed that. Now, let's talk about the books. So for my full length Jane Austen novel this season, I of course read Emma and um, I know this is some people's favorite. I really loved it. Um, for me so far, this is my third favorite. As soon as I finish reading Mansfield Park, I will do my ranking, but for me right now, this is number three. So I really loved it. I love how there's some more humor in this one. Um, if you don't know, this is basically a book about um, Emma and she's a wealthy young lady and she lives with her father. And it's just about like the, she's trying to like be a matchmaker and it's about all these different situations she gets herself into. And she really grows in the novel and she learns like how to be a better person. And um, you know, that it's not always the best way to entertain yourself necessarily by like matchmaking people. Um, and I think she really learns like, you know, she learns her place and um, how to be a good person and how to interact with society um, in an appropriate way for her age. And um, yeah, she just, there's a lot of growth in this book. Um, there's a lot of humor in this book. <laughs> if you enjoy situations where people are it's like almost like the bachelorette like people are proposing and they're not the right people and how that goes down check it out um but yeah i really enjoyed this i find austin's writing like i said so cozy um this book is funny um I love the hero in this book, and I really love um, her relationship with her father. I think that that's really beautiful. Um, I lost my dad quite young, and so I really appreciated how devoted she was to her dad and what a tight relationship that they had, and that, you know, they had like the day-to-day -day kind of um, goings on in here and I just I found that really lovely I also really liked her relationship with Mrs. Weston who was her governess and became her friend and it's so lovely that she gets to stay in the neighborhood and they still get to interact and support each other as women and yeah this is a lovely book um it's about so many things but I think for me the thing that I most took out of this was that the people that love you will see the good in you even when they point out when you fall. So um, I thought that that was really beautifully handled in this. Um, and I think that's important when you have important relationships in your life that you feel comfortable being able to help each other grow and not just fawning over the good things in each other. Um, so it's good to be able to be honest with each other and tell each other, hey, you messed up here, but I still love you. And I just, I really loved this for that and I would highly recommend it. 
And then for the shorter works of Jane Austen, I read three of her um, juvenilias. This was like the read something else by Austen challenge. So I read um, Jack and Alice, Henry and Eliza, and Three Sisters, I believe. Yeah, and I will say, um, it's like a different Austen. Like you can tell um, her wit and her um, talent is there. But there are some surprising twists in her juvenilia. Um, yeah, and there was one of them where there wasn't like any likable characters. Who is this? Um, but the one that stuck out for me was the three sisters. I really enjoy stories that, and this is kind of a strange, really weird thing about me, like a very specific reading taste, but I like books that focus on three particular, either like three particular characters or three particular like times in your life or three particular locations. Like when a book is broken up into three different sections, I tend to really enjoy them. Um, I don't know if that's because we were taught like the 3.5 uh, paragraph um, when I was in school, but um, yeah, I, I just, I really enjoyed The Three Sisters. I found it funny. I found it intriguing. And um, yeah, so it's basically about these three sisters. And of course, the mother wants them to get married because what did you do back then? And there's this man who wants to marry them, but he doesn't really care which one he marries. He just wants to marry one of them. And the oldest sister is like, I don't really want to marry him, but I don't really want my sisters to marry him either because then they'll be like, I'm married and I'm doing well and whatever. And it's just, it's very comical. And um, yeah, so you'll have to read it to find out. It's short, so I don't wanna give too much away about these, but if you've read a lot of other Austin and you're just interested in her as a writer and a person, I would highly recommend her Juvenalia. This is a lovely collection. This is the Macmillan um, Collector's Library Edition. They are pocket size, so like you can see my hands, they're quite small and the print is little, but um, they are readable. And this one has like her unfinished works as well as her juvenilia. And I just found it, um, the three sisters specifically, I really enjoyed it. I didn't complete all the challenges, but they got pretty close. So for the um, retelling or uh, reimagining, I read this year, Jane and Love, and this is by Rachel Givney. And let me tell you, I wasn't sure about this, I, you know, when you love an author and then you read retellings or reimaginings by them, you're always a little nervous. And there were parts of this where I was just kind of like, mm, mm. but I have to say there were some moments in this where I was like emotionally touched. And because of that, um, I, I really enjoyed it. And um, I had to end up giving it five stars because it takes a lot to emotionally move me in a book and this had some moments that did that. Um, so what is this? This is basically about um, Jane and she's searching for true love and she ends up traveling to the future, to like our current time and she meets someone of course. And it's um, also a story about um, the love story but it's also a story of friendship because she meets um, his sister as well and it's about their friendship and about Jane's journey and what's gonna happen and it does get kind of pacey and exciting at points um, while Jane's in the future things are changing back home and so it becomes kind of a if I'm gonna stay then nothing remains the same kind of like anxiety about the time travel aspect and what her staying here changes in the past and um yeah i found it a lot of fun um if you like like rom-com if you like jane austen if you like just romance in general i would give this one a try and the final thing i finished this was in august um this is francis bernie's evelina and it's not that long i just time has been a thing lately for me so um but i did finish this and really enjoyed it. Um, I know that some people that read this don't love it as much as Austen, but I loved this. I could see um, the influences on Austen throughout it. Um, and let's talk about what this is. This is basically Evelina. It's a story about a young girl who was raised in the country and she goes to the city and it's all about how she's not really equipped to deal with that yet and um, she doesn't have um, a parent with her so she's with a chaperone and it's just 
it's funny. It's very, there is a scene in this that I actually talked to my husband about and it's hysterical. And that for me is why this got five stars because I will forever remember that scene and be able to chuckle to myself wherever I am. Like that is mine now. And it'll be able to cheer me up for the rest of my life. And it was just so funny. And I know that that scene is gonna stick with me. Um, this book was just a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. And um, it is epistolary, which I didn't think it needed to be, but I find um, at this point in my life, I really enjoy an epistolary novel. And it was just such a fun ride. I think if you like Austin and you're not so concerned about characters, because I feel like Austin does a better job developing like characters. However, um, there is some good character development in here to me. Um, but I think Austin does it better. However, the story and the humor and it goes, you see so many different places. If you enjoy like a good setting and a, yeah, it's just, it's so much fun and it's not that long. Her other books are huge and I'm a little nervous. I think I have, what is it, Cecilia? Um, I'll put a picture over here on my TBR and I'm a little afraid because that book is huge, but this one is not that big and it was thoroughly enjoyable and I would highly recommend it. Those are all the Austin things I wanted to talk with you about um, this year. Um, my mom got me a new Austin shirt. I'm so excited. I will have to wear it in another video and show you guys. Um, I love it. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I have missed filming, but I've just been busy with life and family stuff. And I'm still reading, just not quite as much as I did last year. I probably will end up doing about a little over a book a week this year. So still good. I know that's more than a lot of people read and less than a lot of others, but you know, we all are going on our own journey. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, I hope that you're all well and that you're doing good. Um, I know life is kind of crazy and especially these days, but I do hope that you're all taking care of yourself. So thanks for being here with me today. Farewell for now. Bye-bye.